This button is a feature that came out for EU4 in 2014. That was a decade ago. Oh, that made me feel old. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh. <laughs> You've probably never clicked this button and, and quite right, why would you? It just makes the game worse in every single way. Today, I'm going to make the game worse in every single way. More than that, I'm going to be randomizing a new world and then asking my sister to pick a nation. I'm then going to be playing as that nation, so I'll have no idea where I am. This means I'll be messing around with terrible native mechanics whilst having an awful time because I'll be in isolation not knowing when the Europeans are going to come. This is horrible. This is the worst thing I've ever done. The only shining light is that you now have to watch it. And if you don't mind subscribing, I, I need this. We're close to 200,000 subscribers and you're about to see some things. Okay, so I haven't looked at this nation at all. I don't know where we are. I don't know what the Rarity world is. I asked, uh, uh, let's let's say a friend of mine, my sister, to, uh, to, to click on a nation and then click play. It took her a couple of tries. I'm not gonna lie, but here we are in this weird state called Bowdoin Arby. We have inflation reduction plus 0.15 and state maintenance. Oh, infantry compatibility plus 20% at the end is quite nice. Uh, tolerance for true faith, reinforced costs, cost of reducing war exhaustion. Really hammering home in the inflation cost. Is there any gold nearby? No. So why? Okay, sure. We care about inflation. Uh, manpower in accepted culture province. I've never seen that before. Plus 37%? Okay, national, so national supply limit modifier plus 20, and then autonomy change cooldown. So, rather interesting. It looks like we are totemist. Okay, cool. And I don't know how far away we are from, you know. Oh, we got a boat. That's cool. So we can, we can, we can travel over to this uninhabited island. Is there any development? Um, no. Well, actually, there's one province here. That's good. Okay, so we're gonna have to just wait for the. <laughs> have to wait for the Europeans to show up. This is the. Uh, Setri. It doesn't look like trade flows in or out of it. This is a pure end node. Okay, very cool. I mm, I don't know what to do now. So I could declare war on you. I mean, I I guess let's just do it, huh? Tantrum Knights, which are that's a that's that's a hilarious name. I'm not gonna lie, that's that's amazing. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just see what happens. We actually need to have fed like uh, a federation to be to have federation advancements. So let's pick someone a little bit farther away. We would want to be in our federation, like this guy. He's got artillery cost. He's got discipline plus 7.5%. Jesus Christ. Yeah, get him in. Let's get a couple of these guys in here. Request from Hekal Hekawi. Uh, no, I want your territory, so I'm afraid not. I'm going to just invite a load of people to start. This is great. Look at this federation. Lovely. Are we all the same culture as well? Wait, what's our culture? Yeah, Cohen. I don't know if that's real culture or not. And I don't want to upset anyone. So I'm going to move past that. All right. Anyone else we can invite? Most people have joined the Federation by now. Uh, I can invite you. Anyone else? Invite the Federation. Three more. Uh, I'll do this one. And, that's, and, then, and then we'll call it there. And then we're going to have to fight this guy. Show his priority. Conquest of Varanga. All right. Yep, that works. Unfortunately, we are going to find the mountains, which is not ideal, but necessary. It's actually kind of close. But we win. Where are you going? So you coming after me. Where, where are you retreating to? Dude, this is gonna be a long game. I don't need this right now. Thank you for dying. That's very kind of you. Okay, excellent. Okay, I think we're good now. We are losing a couple of ducats a month, but that's fine. We're gonna take these two territories and we'll go on our way. boy, please tell me there's is that an actual nation. It's, it is, that's amazing. His name's boy. Okay, so with federal cohesion, we're going to do federal constitution. Okay, well, let's, let's do all that later. Let's, let's, we're gonna have plenty of time. I wanna stay on speed five for as long as possible. Because believe me, we're gonna have plenty of time whilst we wait for Europe. These are the worst kinds of games. The state does need the money. We're paying mercenaries. You declared war on who? This guy. Okay. Take these two provinces and then now mine. I can migrate to it and do that. I'm gonna wait until he locks him, then I'm gonna attack him, I think. Or is that a terrible idea? Maybe we should attack this guy instead. It's 11k versus 15. So when are you gonna arrive? The 9th of October. If I were to attack you, you're gonna call in this guy anyway, right? Yeah. All right, well, it's uh. Let's give it a go. Okay, I want to piece this guy out first. You have a 3-5. That's okay. We've reached the walls. There's reinforcements coming. <laughs> We've got a famine. We've got a lot of debt. It's it's fine. Oh, because he's a scholar. It's the first I've had this. We don't lose the stability. We get 20 admin instead. Spectacular. We're going to get this. Round of arm. It's necessary from now. If he gets a bad event, I'm hitting him. Look. The fools will be close, though. Yep, we went. Never worried. Never in doubt. Even though he has a better general than we do. So we'll find this guy as well. I want to fight out a boy. We've got gems here, nice. Chain 59 tradition, oh, nice. And before they win that siege, we're just gonna nick it. Okay, and I was gonna piece this guy out as well, but I've accidentally sent 
the 2,000 men to their death. So we're gonna go ahead and nix that. There we go. Don't actually know what I'm doing necessarily here. Like I know we're getting territory, but how does how does any of this work? I've just blanked it from my mind. If I keep migrating, I get more travel land, right? So I can just do that. So even Barsoom isn't isn't uh yeah, it's not letting me be part of that tribal land, huh? That's fine, I'll fight these guys too. Because it doesn't annex them, so it means I don't have to like worry about uh, fully occupying him and his allies. 4466 four, six becomes ruler. Yeah, please, Christ. That sounds awesome. If I'm wrong here, this is going to be a painful day. Sweet. So we peaced out, but uh, we're going to keep the 644 because, well, it's better. So we'll, we'll lose the stability. If I migrate here now, this stuff isn't in my... I don't understand how any of this works. I'm not going to lie. But we've attacked everyone we, we need to attack. So let's settle down our troops. Potentially declare back. We'll see. So I need to start migrating up north, right? Or around the side. Wait, did people leave our federation? Why? Why'd you leave? Come back. Oh, because I was fighting. All right. We need all our migratory donnies to uh, to join us, right? Outside tribal land. But, but how do I claim more tribal land? Then? Just by fighting people? I really should have thought this through. I don't know how this game works. Okay, so Federation advancements. I don't know which one to get. Apparently, Brislashaw is bigger than me. Doesn't make any sense. So go joint grain depots. It's quite good to get travel development, which is nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to learn how to play the game. Each month, we gain travel development from grazing lands below 100 dev devastation. Sure. Uh, we get additional travel development for grazing in land in, in land. What? The amount of travel development gained will be divided by the current tribal development if it's higher than one. Okay. So we're grazing and then when we shift, it'll increase the amount of... Okay, I understand now. I'm going to click Federation Offensive Wars. I don't know what that means. I assume it means that... Yeah, okay. So my allies are going to get called in now whenever I fight. Okay, perfect. <laughs> this is ideal. So how are you bigger than me? I don't understand. You have less development and you've just got less land. Where is he? Brizzy Shore. From maximum manpower. 12. Well, okay, so it's maximum manpower. Sure. I can invite you to my federation now. Sweet. So it's saying that they're stronger than me, which has cost me 0.4 a month because you have a max manpower of 12.3. How? And then place the travel land. Okay, I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to understand. All right, so I want to migrate to as many different places as possible because I can't, let's see, migrate to... Okay, you can migrate into my land if you are um, migratory. But this is very confusing. I mean, let alone the fact that we're playing in a completely different uh, sort of location than usual. Uh, random everything, if you will. Okay, I've increased my military might tag. So when's my truce up with you? Soon, five years, so not that soon. So we're grazing. Okay, I'm understanding now. We're grazing here. Is increasing devastation. It's taking me a while, but oh, I'm up to speed now. Really not. So you just sit here and wait? <laughs> Why do I always play these games? Oh, the stupid trade node itself, our home trade node is broken as well. That doesn't help things. Okay, we don't have any loans, which is nice. I mean, you joined my federation. I can improve relations with you and get you to join my federation. So do your buildings come with you? If I built a building, does it come with me? That's the key part I want to know. So I'm trust me, I'm going to migrate to this land. Add it to my tribal land. Migrate over here. Oh, that's my tribal land. Then migrate here. So I'm going to set everywhere as a province of interest. And hopefully when we fight these offensive wars, people will transfer their over to me. Plan at least. So this lot I can fight and it'll call in everyone. Sweet. Okay, nice. I've been immediately stack wiped. Sure. But that's okay though. So that's fine. You're still in... Yeah, okay. So he lost the, he lost his... The, the war, right? But he still stays in the Federation. So we're fine. Okay, so we're going to pillage and just take stuff. Okay, that works. From everyone. They should hand it over to me because I'm the leader. Okay, nice. Excellent. All right, and we are going to have to take that on the chin to keep our godlike ruler of 466. Okay, we have a bunch of troops. I do want to see if I go local manpower modifier. They move with me. Find out. This is going to increase my manpower. Okay, come on. I'm currently a clan council. Okay, so if I was a federation, I would have better national manpower modifier, which would then put me on top. Okay, martial tradition, oral tradition, or this. Monthly admin power plus one, that's kind of good. I think what I want to do, diplomatic different relations doesn't mean anything. We don't have any of those, so that's kind of useless. Martial tradition's nice, but not necessary because we have the numbers. So reform progress is, gonna, is going to get us to like the settled areas. So let's do that. And we're gonna switch over to federation as soon as possible. Yeah, unfortunately they're still stronger than because I'm assuming they're a federation. I I'm learning. Yeah, look, National Manpower Modifier plus 20%. Okay, sure, that makes sense. We have Great Trail, let's move here. Okay, Great Trail stays with us. Okay, so money's important. Sure, I've moved off the coast though, so our Navy is gonna collapse. Okay, we're gonna get a free company to make things go a little bit quicker. And we're gonna attack Kabe. Okay, slight problem. Uh, all of my guys are up north. <laughs> are you coming in to help? Okay, you are, good, nice. This is good. This is ideal. Oh, everyone likes us. Nice. What's that like? Oh dear. Okay, might not have realized they were stacking up there. That's on me. 
Oh, dude. Why would you attack that? I appreciate you trying to help me out, but get in there. Oh, no. We just lost a couple more troops, haven't we? All right, it's fine. Just win these sieges. Okay, we might have lost our capital, but why do we not get any troops back? What's that? Why is our reinforcement rate just bad? Okay, we'll just chip away at him. It's all good. Another one. Okay. All right, so we've got a lot more uh, tribal land now to play with. We can switch out to this. It's going to give us more max manpower. We're migrating all the way up here. I want to migrate into this dude's tribal land. We get additional tribal development like that. Like, pointedly, a lot, actually. Unfortunately, we left our troops behind. I'm, I don't want to touch anything because we actually get more, like, a ton more federal cohesion. For whatever reason, people are now weaker than us. Uh, we don't have a navy anymore. That's a shame. But it looks like it's calculated for max manpower, and we have the most max manpower right now. So we're going to sit here for a while, and then we'll head up into this territory. Okay, a lot of people move around there. Okay, we get another one of these. So, we've got Federation Offensive Wars. This one means... We have to be settled, okay. Monthly Federation favor growth, don't care about that. Goods produced, don't care about that. Settle cost, not necessary. Uh, Trish enemies, not good. Institution spread, also useless. Okay, uh, I guess tribal development growth. So migrates migrates to my land, that's when I get pissy. Okay, so is, is this it? Sort of exist? I mean, my name's bigger than everyone else. That's fun. Take four, that's cool. Let's check the great powers, see what's going on with that. Um, Poland has probably got Poland, Lithuania. Castile's probably got, um, no, they don't. They just, they don't have Aragon. Okay, sure. England looks to have lost 100 years war. All right, let's try a war to feud this guy. He has more troops than me. I need to run. So I just use him as money team. Is there anything else that sort of just happens or is this it? <laughs> just have to wait. <laughs> God, oh, I'm stuck here for hours. I know it's going to be six hours. I know it's going to be six or seven hours of this. Oh, Christ. It's a shame you can't break, um, Federations. So what's this continent called? I never check. Uh, subcontinents. The New World. <laughs> uh, right Alpha. Reef of the Yarn. That sounds cool. Right Alpha, apparently, is what it's called. Okay, we can't do one of these until we're out of war. So we need to get out of war as soon as possible. Okay, so you give me your land. The war operations. And you're really going to disappear up north a little bit. And then you give me all your land. All right, what do you want now? So we've done those two. Mutual trust. Trish for enemies. Institution spread. Settle cost. Get this. Don't think it really matters. I know to migrate to someone else's land. Look, migrate in here. Does that piss you off? It doesn't look like it, even though I'm grazing your land. Okay. I've been guaranteed by Hikawi. Admittedly, it doesn't look like I'm that big of a deal, but like, come on. Who Brixley Chow left my federation? That son of a bitch. Okay, right, that's that done then. Gained 50 government reform progress. Sure. I think that gives me the ability to, in a second, settle down. I made this mistake last time where I switched, like, I should have stayed as. I should have switched over to like a horde or something because then I could have leapfrogged the whole institutions thing, which I'm going to do this time. So we're not going to settle down. And instead, we're going to do um, seasonal travel, migration cost, and travel development cost. We're just going to keep doing that. We're going to do what we've been doing. So some areas like up north in the Arctic uh, don't have the ability to support three buildings. So because they have minus one. So I need to be down here. Monthly reform progress from buildings. So there's monthly reform progress from buildings here. And then also I want here as well. So we're coming a horde fast. Damn. Just about to take that land. Uh, this is riveting gameplay. This is, uh, yeah, this is BE4 right here. I get one of these every month, which means it's another 90, and then presumably another 100. Okay, so it's, okay, how long is that? So 90, that's just like, I don't even know, man. 90 plus, I think the next one's 200. Divide that by 12, that's another 24 years of this. Same old, same old. Oh, I swear to God, those are the Castilians. I saw them. I know I did. I know I saw them. 100% I saw them. They're here. Oh my God, they're already here. Dude, this is actually fast for them. So proud of the Castilians getting their act together. Just for me. Oh, they have uh, an ability. All of this is useless to me. This colony boost? What the hell else am I gonna do? Now, you know what? We're just gonna go for um, improve, get more taxes. Oh, there's a government reform. I guess codified power. Tech six, and then we're gonna become step nomad. It's not even worth relocating anyone outside of my uh, tribal land. It's not like doing any harm. No. Yeah, it is, it is, it is Castile. I knew it, I knew it. Oh, this is just such little fun. I don't even have any jokes. It's so stupid. Oh, wait, what's that? That's a, uh, oh my God, that's the rest of the land masses. Why can I see this? You're up, Cooper, Gwich'in. Another federation thing. We've got one. So we've done four of them, right? Shared knowledge, settle cost, resistance. Sure, institution. Why not? Yeah, I can't bring myself to 
to, to sort of attack the war. It was slowing me down too much. Still don't understand the whole tribal development thing, I'll be honest. Cool idea group. Cool. Uh, let's get inspiration out of this. It's quite funny, actually. Can you steal my... You can't steal my tribal land. Why am I in debt somehow? What changed to put me in debt? That's what I want to know. I'd, I'd like... And it's not a small amount of debt either. Well, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Castilian Biatapol. England and Burgundy wield from the snow now. Okay, so that's that's where I lost. Let's take six. We're about halfway there. I will declare some wars just to pass the time. For a reason, I can't like pillage for the most time, most part either, but I can just burn them down, which I know hurts me in the long run, but I don't care. Oh wait, I can take the problem with this. Probably nice, let's do that instead. Cool, burning things for no reason apparently. Apparently I'm gonna send him somewhere. I, where did I send him? To the Shadow Realm? England's here, nice. I wanna check, like, is there nothing else here at all? Is it just this top half? What's in the bottom half? When well, they're all totemists. Dude, my back hurts. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna stop playing. <laughs> Ah. Cool. That's spooky. Why not? Tribe should migrate. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God! It's the Castilians. They've landed on. Oh, I need a port. Um. I mean, this is gems, though. You know what? We're staying here. I'll conquer a port if I need one. Because with this, all Federation members will be integrated, right? That sounds pretty cool. So I want to do that. So I can't. Even though I can see them, I can't attack the uh, Castilians. Okay. I'll settle every tribal land province. Oh, that's why I should have been expanding tribal lands up. Oh well. Well, I, I didn't do that. So now we're here. You're all about to be trapped. How long left? Oh, okay. Still a while. <laughs> Occasionally I get events that increase it and that's my favorite time. Oh my God. Oh, it's really, oh, why would you do this? Like people do this themselves. Why? Why would you play this? I wonder, has anyone else got any ideas yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, espionage. Nice. What's your tech? Steel, I can't see. Castilian rights play, writer Belia. Tech eight. Honestly not in that far behind you. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We're gonna become a horde. It's gonna be amazing. This is gonna be the best day of my life. The birth of a newborn child will not equate to this. <laughs> Next month, we're gonna become a horde. Yay. No, I could do this, but no. Horde, we're big now. Uh, let's get national manpower modifier. Let's have some religious unity. Stain discipline. How about some uh, retaining tribal hierarchy? So we don't inherit our federation. Oh, but I wanna inherit the federation because I wanna see what happens. Yeah, we didn't sit here for this long. We didn't sit here for this long to not see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna have to reload. Ah. Uh, Cannot load after saving. Ah! <laughs> ah okay, I we'll have to save the game. Oh God, I don't want to have to do it, but I have to. But I have to. I can't not see what it's going to be like. I can't. Oh God. <sighs> okay. So that's there if I need it, and I'm not clicking anything just in case. Because, but I want to see what happens. I've never actually done this where I formed a federation. So we're just going to wait and try and get others in. Okay. We've got this one, and now we've got this final one. We have to not be a migratory tribe. How does that work? Do I have to be a settled tribe? I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Castile's expanding kind of rapidly. I'm not gonna lie. We're going massively quickly now because Castile's neighboring us. And also this other one. Oh no. What the hell's this? Why are you, what the hell are you fighting? Attack against Omenrug, this lot. But they're winning. <laughs> My God, they're winning. <laughs> I've just never formed a federation before. Okay, so I need to be a settled tribe. So let me save just in case this goes wrong. So settle down. We're gonna do that. No longer migratory. Do that, right? Then we can click this in a second. Click this. There we go. Click this. Huh. Integrated federation. What does that do? You now change its color and flag. Oh, cool. Okay, I didn't know this was a thing. Um, I'm just gonna keep running <laughs> and just get just fully and break this all. This is really confusing. Do I want a, 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 any kind of like iconography? I don't think I do. Actually, a totemist one could be good. I like that. Map color needs to reflect it then. Make it like a light blue. It's over there. I like this. So now what? So we inherited all that lot. But why? Settle. Okay, so I just keep settling places now. But only if I have enough tribal land. Well, this is stupid. Yeah, I can. I can see why not. No, I, I want to be the. I, I, I want to. I want to be the horde. I don't. I don't. This is dumb. I don't. This is dumb as hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is way cooler. <laughs> why would I? Why would I ever do any other way? I don't. We're making six a month now. That's good. And we have an unassigned merchant. I like a call from here. Can I? I there's no shot. Who made up these names? What is a Shinhopal? I can't actually reach here. That's amazing. I kind of regret going exploration ideas, to be honest. I think it's unnecessary. My idea is I want to be like this horde that, that they discover, like poking the bear kind of stuff. And then it just sort of cascades all over them. I think it's time we unified our island, to be honest. All right, let's do this. Good relations. Get out of here, the good thing. Uh, said an insult, scornful insult. There you go. Now we're no longer going to do it. Right, shall we? I rather think we shall. Gain 20 ward unity. Yes, please. Oh, wow. I did not want this now, but sure. Military reform. Sweet. This is what I was looking for because I need this territory. So let's get ourselves some boats such that we can fight this lot um, and take the land. 
All right, let's begin our conquest. Sold the island a little bit. Oh, I was going to raise it. Kind of got there. 635 is now. Sweet. If I declare war on you, I need few business while I'm doing this. You don't have any ships. Okay, cool. All right, let's hit him. Where are you? He disappeared. Oh, they're over there. Come back. They have one ship. Nice. I thought you wanted to conquer these lands, huh? It's a nice island you got here. It'd be a shame if someone to steal it. Oh, he's actually going to take some land here. That's annoying. I forgot that provinces would flip to him. I forgot about his mainland province over here. <laughs> That's on me. Okay, the Aragonese are just sitting here menacing you with 30,000. Where are you going? My journey. Thank you. I mean, these are some valuable lands that you're very generously gifting me. That was my old homeland. This is where I started, I think. We have naval superiority. Nice. So there's one tiny island I haven't uh, taken. I think you'll still give it to me. Yeah, nice. Wait, what? There's another island. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll take that as well. Thank you. And we can embrace an institution. Go ahead and raise all this. Might be my old home, but you know, I'm gonna waste it. Californian separatists, it's amazing. Now I just need to wait for the other institutions to come in. And also the Kassimians are doing my job for me. They are annexing territory and then inevitably they're gonna have to core it. I should leave one of these alive so then he can actually form a colonial nation. It's got loads of little provinces now and I'm gonna take them all. Wait, let me check colonial regions. I wanna see if, yeah, it's all one area. So you should, I can join a coalition against Castile. I don't know if that's gonna help me, but this all should be forming. So he's got one there, one core, two cores. It's all flipped to a colonial nation that I can just take off him. This is very much ideal. Okay, now I've got to guess where he's gonna spawn his troops. Uh, into the rebellion. Oh, it's gonna be here. That's a hell of a province. Okay, I can go there. Because usually it's in the province that has the highest amount of um, development. Uh, or in this case, I am wrong. A liar, and there's 30,000 <laughs> Neapolitan police here. Why? Napoleons? No, no, Neapolitans. <laughs> Neapolis. The Nepalese, they're here already. <laughs> Christ. Use a separatism, technology cost, mystery strength. I think technology cost is actually quite a good idea. Separatism as well. There you go. That's a whole new nation for us to take. I'm not going to attack it just yet. I'm going to wait for them to bring in more stuff for me to fight. Travel conquest against Denmark. Oh, the Danes are here. Hello. All right, let's go in. I've been wanting to kill you all for so long. Miserable bastards. Steel, do you want to give me access? Nope. Okay. I'll take this province. Thank you very much. The stuff north, by the way, is the wasteland. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, my colonial range actually reaches. Okay, let's go set up over here. We'll go nick from the uh, Portuguese as well. I will have a new world empire. It's cool because I have no idea what the old world looks like. Oh, turn it to Spain. I should embrace all this stuff. So now I think we are on par technologically, or we will be. Okay, we're tech eight in the Spanish, and everyone else are tech uh, 10, I believe. So, a good place. Let's go, what ideas? Be fun. Another province taken. These are trash provinces, but worth it because I want them. Just hide them into the Spanish lands. Thank you. Okay, our king has died, but we have a 635 ready and go and ready to go. And I've selected the state agenda to allow uh, good heirs to come to fruition so they don't just get taken over. Uh, and I'm very thankful I made the decision. This is an estate all its own. It's a, a state. Why? It's one province. It's, it's on its own. It's stupid. Oh, I've made some error. Uh, namely, th th this. Uh, um, yeah, dominance of the tribes. So it won't tick up as provided I'm, I'm at war. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to stay at war. Try and keep the their influence low. But that's three years. But that's the plan. All these one... Each of these states have only one thing in them. Okay, I'm gonna declare this war as well to get out of this one. Just gotta last me a couple of years. <laughs> That's all. Just attacking them. It's fine. Yeah, they got tech 10. Got tech 9. We're basically on par with them. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, there we go. I think that has fixed. Yes, okay, that's fixed. That's fixed. I didn't check how the air is. Is it 446? We're getting pretty lucky with the airs. All right, so a coalition might form against us, but that's fine. We've annexed pretty much everyone here. I'm leaving uh, a couple of drips and drabs just in case they colonize anywhere else. But that is our homeland secured. Oh, and we can see over here. Okay, Oira is doing well. We can kind of see the main, kind of see Spain. I mean, I do want to see what it looks like. Oh my God, France. <laughs> How does that Portuguese? Okay, I don't want to look at the new world in case we play more, but this is what the old world's looking like. That is an insane France for less than 100 years into the game. Okay, uh, understandable. And Japan's form, lovely. Well, chaps, uh, this is where I'm going to leave it for today. If you want to see more of the Bodenabi horde, if you want to see us potentially go and invade uh, East, actually, we can quickly upgrade into a kingdom, then do let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.